Hey guys, you're on Now You Know and here's the news highlights for the week. Earlier this week, a pleasure boat and a ferry collided off Hong Kong, killing 38 passengers. The pleasure boat was on its way to view the fireworks in celebration of National Day when the collision occurred. Over 120 passengers were on board. Now, many were thrown into the choppy water and the boat sank not long after. There was an emergency overnight rescue mission and over 100 people were hospitalized, many in critical condition. Former chief of the Central Narcotics Bureau, Ng Boon Gay, allegedly received sexual favors from sales manager Cecilia. Cecilia Su in exchange for contracts. In the ongoing trial, Cecilia has been contradicting herself by first saying they were in love and in a legitimate relationship and then claiming he forced himself onto her. Her SMSs from the affair have also been a highlight of the case. In one of her SMSs, Cecilia asked Boon Gay, Do you DIY? When asked in court what she meant, she said it could have been a typo and all she knew was that DIY meant do-it-yourself home store, of course. Because that's what you want to message Boon Gay, right? Do you go to the store and DIY and fix your tap or your shelves? Dodgy. It's been a few years since Rovio released the game Angry Birds and now they've finally released another game known as Bad Piggies. Featuring the pigs from Angry Birds, players have to build vehicles to help the pigs get through levels and to the birds' eggs. The game hit the top spot in the US iTunes store within three hours of its release. However, initial reviews say the game is more like a puzzle that requires more persistence and could get difficult very quickly. Big Bang is one of Korea's most successful K-pop groups and they performed to a sold-out crowd of 9,500 fans in Singapore last Friday. And they performed more than 20 songs including hits like Fantastic Baby, Bad Boy, Hands Up and more. At a press conference before the concert, local actress Ann Kok asked the guys if she could be in their next music video and they playfully flirted with her. She also asked if they could be friends and gave Taeyang her phone number and email. Because <laughs> her fans are... And cockers. I made that up. Sorry, guys. And cock fans, don't get angry. It's just that it's kind of weird, right? She and Big Bang, because, you know, it's like her children. Oops! Bitchy! Lady Gaga received some flack recently after unflattering photos of her from a concert went viral with many commenting about her weight gain. In Lady Gaga style, she fought back on her blog by posting photos of herself in her underwear. The photo captions read, Bulimia and anorexia since I was 15, but today I joined the body revolution to inspire bravery and breed some compassion. On her blog, she encouraged her fans to be brave about their flaws. Now guys, you know, leave her alone, right? It's okay to gain a little bit of weight, you know, and don't be judgmental. You know, if there's anything to judge, it's really her music. <laughs> How to Make Me Mad was trending on Twitter this week. Here are a few we found. When someone says their baby is 36 months old, just say three years old so I don't have to hate you. Call my house phone asking me, where you at? Like other girls' pictures on Instagram. I'm psycho. Sorry. As for me, things to get me mad. It really is just one thing. If you guys can flash this across the screen. Sports douche. That's right, sports douche. You guys don't know what sports douche? Okay, you know those guys that like pretend like they're in like extreme sports, you know, they're all like frosted tips in their hair, wearing triathlon sunglasses when, you know, you're not running in a triathlon. Shark tooth necklace. No? Tan bodies, walking around with your Crocs stuff, you know, flipped up collars, sports douche, right? Those people make me mad. <laughs> now that I said it, you know, I feel much better now. Sports douche. Thanks for tuning in. Look us up on Facebook and Twitter for more updates. Now let's end off with this week's The Most Watched Video in the Universe! This week, according to us. This week's video is titled Worst Movie Death Scene Ever. It's from a 1973 Turkish film and quickly racked up over 15 million views in a week. Pretty awesome. I think that is the best death scene I've ever seen. You know, and I, 
and I, I want to have a very long death scene too. So guys, roll the gunshots. Let's wrap it up. We've got a break for lunch. Really? Yeah. I'm not done dying. Yet. <laughs> really? Guys. Nice. Come on. <laughs>